I've worked with a lot of clients who are divorced or getting divorced and who have custody issues and they're in the courts and they feel like they are not free to make their own choices because to be honest with you, they're not. I mean, judges are making decisions that they can or can't move or making decisions about how much money they have. They're making all these decisions for them. And so it looks like they're so powerless and they're so trapped. But I was thinking about it the other day and I was thinking, are we ever really free? I mean, almost everything we do, it's a trade-off, right? We're making choices. If I do this, then I am going to miss out on this thing. Um, you know, it's easy to like see the extreme ways that the court system can make us feel like we're not free. I'm going to give you an example of like a lot of the moms that I know, not necessarily clients, but who live in places that they don't want to live, but they live there because their husband has a job there that makes a lot of money. Their kids are entrenched in the schools. And even though mom hates the weather and is struggling a little bit to find people who she connects with, she's staying there because it's the best thing maybe for the family because Maybe her husband wouldn't be able to get a job somewhere else. So is she free? Sort of not, right? Because she's making a choice that's better for her family rather than the choice that's just good for her. It happens in lots of times, right? There are lots of circumstances where, where, where we think we're so free, but actually we're not. And I'm not trying to sound depressing here. I'm just trying to get real. For anyone who's dealing with like the court systems or feeling like they're trapped in some way, maybe that's just part of being a human is that we are always weighing out our choices and sometimes we can't be quite as free as we want to be. And I know people who would disagree with me and that's okay. If that resonates more with you, is that you just should always be seeking what your soul's path is and freedom, then that maybe I'm not for you. But I'm the kind of person who does see that when we have children, we often are making choices that are for the best of the family and not necessarily for the best of one individual. And when you're in the court systems, sometimes it feels like you're a victim, but maybe it's just part of parenting and part of life is that we don't always get exactly what we want when we want it. And sometimes we have to make sacrifices and choices and it's the better thing in the long run. I wanna know what you think about this. Tell me more in the comments. I wanna hear your thoughts.